This is Dr. Cathy from the Murdoch University Veterinary School in Perth, Australia, and inside this horse float is Plugger. Plugger is not very well, and his owner Terry Keenan thinks he may have the flu. It's not unusual for foals to get a cold, but this one seems serious, and Plugger is finding it very difficult to breathe. Terry's vet has been treating him with antibiotics with little success and is so concerned that he's recommended Terry bring him to Murdoch for a specialised diagnosis. Okay. Come on, Plugger. No, he's very sensible, really. Dr Cathy begins her examination. Plugger is a potential champion, and one of his brothers has already won over £40,000 in prize money. He's actually got a wheeze that you can, you can, you can hear it in his chest, um, but it seems to be coming from somewhere else, whereas a horse that's got pneumonia, you'd expect to hear it loudest in the chest and, and less loud somewhere else, but his is coming from upper airway rather than from his chest, I think. Dr. Cathy tests how much airflow is coming out of the horse's nostrils. Yeah, there's something blocking it. Exactly, he might have a blockage on his right side of his nose. Okay, so there's a couple of things we can do to investigate that. Are you having a nibble? Are you, Are you having a nibble, little fella? But he's also... One of the things Dr. Cathy will do is put a small camera up his nose to have a look at what is causing the blockage. But she's also so concerned about the coughing, and she's afraid that the camera may make it even more difficult to breathe and dramatically increase his stress levels. But before she goes to that extent, she wants to x-ray his head to see what the problem is. It could be some abnormal bone or a cyst. So I think we might get him ready for x-ray first, and then we'll take him in and scope his nose afterwards. First, she gives him a sedative to keep him calm. One of the things that I'm a bit concerned about, Terry, is that we don't seem to be getting any airflow down the right side of his nose at all. Um, normally, when you so if you feel over his nostrils, you you'll feel airflow. This, the offside, the offside. Yeah. Yeah. Graham mentioned that he had trouble getting the scope up the right side. So. I mean, that's a bit of a concern. It makes me wonder whether he's actually got um, a problem like a, a deviated septum in his nose or something like that, something bony that might be blocking things. It could still be like a cyst in his sinuses that's slowly expanding or something like that, but I think the x-ray's worthwhile doing first so that we can see if there's anything um, bony happening in his head um, which would stop him being a racehorse. Well, that, let's hope it's all OK. Yeah. <laughs> something simple. So we'll scope them afterwards once we've got the x-rays. Okay, so we're nice and still. Come here, little fella. Come here. Come here, little fella. You can just hurt a little bit. There's a brave man. Dr. Cathy gives young plugger the sedative so they can get a clean shot with the x-ray machine. The sedative will take about 15 minutes to work. The medical staff are getting quite concerned. Despite the fact that a special kind of sedative was used, Plugger's breathing is getting worse. Dr. Cathy tells Terry that she may have to perform an emergency operation to help him breathe more easily. Terry, this is um, a tracheotomy tube, and this is what goes through the incision in the neck. So um, once we've got a little incision in his neck, we just pop that through the hole in his windpipe, and then this little bit goes through the same spot like that and you lock it in place. This is not the one we'll use obviously because we'll use a sterile one. And that just sits in his windpipe and he can breathe through that and it can't fall out because it's oh, got these soft got, locking things got inside. Flanges it. on it to yeah. prevent that. Yeah. So if you don't mind I might actually clip the hair on his neck so he's ready for one of those. But if he doesn't need one, he'll have a bit of a bald patch. That doesn't bother you at all, does no, it? No, that'll be fine. Okay. Inside the X-ray room, the students are preparing Plugger for his X-ray. It's not a long process, and within a short time, Dr. Cathy has the results and is showing them to the horse owner. It's not good news. What's a little bit different about Plugger from normal horses is that this part here, which is his nasal cavity, so he's, where his nostrils go in and the air goes up into his lungs, um, 
has not very much air at all. See how dense that is on the x-ray? It's quite white. You can see the little cavities there where there's some air going between the bones. But really overall, that looks like there's something in the nose that is obstructing it. This means that Dr. Cathy is going to have to put a camera up the horse's nose after all. Plugger's breathing has got worse and Dr. Cathy is concerned that he won't be able to breathe with the camera in place. She decides to perform a tracheotomy. This involves making a hole in the foal's throat so he can breathe. In Animal Doctors Part 2, Dr. Cathy continues her fight to save Plugger. Back at Murdoch University Veterinary School, Plugger can breathe more easily after his tracheotomy and is taken into another operating room where Dr. Cathy will gently push a mini camera into his nostril to try to get a better look at the blockage. She shows Terry and his daughter that Plugger is now breathing much better. This endoscope is a miniature camera which Dr. Cathy is going to slide up Plugger's nose. It's not as uncomfortable as it looks and it's probably more stressful for the vets and Plugger's owners than it is for the little horse. Inside Plugger's nose, the first thing Dr. Cathy notices is that there is a lot of bone and not much room for when air. I, when I went into this side, I mean, there's all sorts of areas up here that I actually can't drive the slope open, but I imagine that they'll be rubbing it ulcerated here too. See, it's got craters in it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, we'll just go up the other side and see whether we can actually drive up it or not. What they see isn't good. In fact, it couldn't be any worse. There's no hole in Plugger's nostril for the air to go through. It's totally blocked by bone. So they have to put Plugger under a general anaesthetic and go in through the mouth. Unfortunately, the diagnosis is confirmed. Plugger has a rare condition called conalatresia, which develops in the embryo. So that tube's moving his membrane there, and there's definitely a blockage. And this one is almost closed as well. There are only 11 reported cases of this syndrome worldwide. Sadly, this means Terry has no option but to ask Dr. Cathy to put Plugger to sleep. But it's the kindest thing to do because his life expectancy can be measured in days ending in an unpleasant death. Like a lot of animal allies, Dr. Cathy believes that what she's learned from Plugger will go on to help her save other horses in the future. In the next programme, the new world of animal allies continues when Doc Rogers tries to solve the mystery behind two dead lion cubs. And a breeding programme at the Stuttgart Zoo in Germany brings an enthusiastic group of orphans together. There are ways to make